This little push. Nice and fluffy. That's beautiful. Hey, what up? Good morning. I'm hungover. I'm over as fuck. Because I went out last night and bought one beer and then bought another beer and I bought a few more with my mate Zach and we had a good chat and I talked about wheelie even though I don't really know how to wheelie myself yet but then you have one too many drinks and you try to show off your new wheelie skills and you go over the handlebars and but I'm not hungover. I'm still drunk. But this. Mm, it's, gonna, it's gonna fix it. It's gonna fix everything. I've had a call from Ben to say that we're going football. I didn't realise that we'd have to be leaving so early. I've got to go get my shit together, have a shower, and eat some food, and clear my head. And then get drunk again, apparently. I need to find my wallet. I think it could be in my car. Yeah, boy! Look at this, look. This is a proper breakfast. Oh. Gotta be at Ben's house in... Like, no time at all. I've got a chow this down ASAP get myself there go on give it some welly yeah we out here learning wheelies <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think I was going to So I brought you here today because this is well, this is a chiropractor in Kenya. Kenya chiropractors, and there's a bloke here who's an absolute genius, Peter Townsend. And uh, I came in here just to get an X-ray, like at the start of summer, and um, just because my joint felt it felt a bit weird in my hip, and the physio reckoned it was something to do with my bones rather than my rather than my like ligaments or muscles it wasn't muscular just because the way she felt it so I went and came and got an x-ray and it looks like well we found out I broke my back and I broke my hip two things I'd never felt before and a clear sign that I should listen to my body a bit more throughout the winter and um, yeah so I'm going to take you in and to meet him and we're going to see how he does it see how he cricks us into place and just talk about kind of what we discovered and um yeah i always learn something new off this guy and i just thought it'd be really interesting for you to meet him so how you doing i uh, see i'm pete townsend yeah see you welcome good to, to see you come on in so what can we do for you well so my back's hurting quite a bit um in like one particular spot and my hip is like kind of, I don't know, popping. Okay. Oh, yeah. Move it, like, it's pretty much just right in deep, right in the okay. in the joint, at least. I mean, I had a physio check it out and they said that it was, it felt more like a, a, a muscle, not, not a muscle problem, it's like a joint bone problem. Okay. So, yeah. Here we are, perfect. How did that happen? What happened? Uh, I honestly don't know at all. I guess skiing, like a big crash at some point. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just would have carried on for a while and then it's just now that I've kind of done my knee and started listening to my body a little bit more, like there's all kinds of little knuckles and things that I'm trying to fix. So, what we need to do then, we're going to go through your history, find out what you've been doing to yourself in the past, 
any big smashes or crashes. I'm a really good look at you, see what's going on, we'll come up with a plan for you. Okay? Yeah. Um, in like January, I like screwed my knee, did my like okay. ACL, LCL, meniscus, like a very unhappy triad, uh, okay. full, like full blown knee. One big fall, or was it a tumble, or what actually happened? Well, with the crash on my knee, that was like, I just landed and my knee just, my ski didn't come off and it just twisted like this way and I just felt it go pop. Okay, what's going on with in that case? In that case, we'll have a good look, see how your body's moving and see what we can do to get you sorted. Yeah. Looking straight forward. First thing you want to see is how straight you are. So we just want to see if one shoulder's sitting higher than the other or if you've got slightly different muscles side to side. Now if I lean you backwards, any aches or pains in there? No. Good. And off to the side. Okay. I'm just a little bit stiff because I've been at the gym. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a smoother bend that way when you take it off to the right hand side. The lower back's pretty straight and it hinges just there. And slowly try to lean forward, touch your toes for me. Okay. What it is, it's different. So when we have a big accident or an upper bump yeah. or smash or an injury, our brain forgets the position our body should be in. So right. from that point onwards, you're trying to ski, you're trying to take some hard turns, you're trying to make hard landings, but where your brain thinks it's actually positioned is well off. Yeah. So not only is it slowing down in recovery, it also means that you're more likely to have future injuries, and from the performance point of view, it can stop your body functioning quite as it should be. Right. Now, Sam, what we've got here is an x-ray of your back with you facing towards us, as though you're standing looking towards us. And the first thing that we can see is just down here, zoom in a little bit for you, is over the years where your body has been developing and growing you've actually got what's called an avulsion fracture where just here you've mm -hmm. managed to pull a fragment of bone off the side of your hip that you don't have on this side. Let's have a look at you from the side and this is the one that's most interesting. So this is your front and your back again from your ribcage to the top of your pelvis and what we see is really nice looking healthy bones here. This big hole that you've got for your nerves above and below. That's pretty good. But what we can see, explains why your back's been stiff, is when we look at the vertebrae higher up, the back part of the vertebrae slopes down a little bit of a curve in there. So the back of it is 36 millimeters up and the front of it is only 22. So you've got what's called a compression fracture through your vertebrae. Okay. So it's literally yeah. just where I've gone like straight it's just compressed and impacted. It's normally where you've got a slight flexed um, appearance through your spine um, and it just catches you at an awkward angle. Mm. Sometimes you have an instant pain afterwards, sometimes the adrenaline keeps you going uh, and then uh, the pain and swelling just builds up over the next few days. Decided. Yeah. Right, so, so we had a, a good look at the spine of yours and we know where the stiff bits are on your neck, you've been back, your lower back, you're affecting nerves and we need to get you taken care of. So what we're going to do is just a little before and after test to see how loose you are and how well we can get you working. So, first of all, just spread your fingers wide for me, same as you did before, and stop me closing. So you've got that weakness and fingers tight for me, and stop me opening. Whereas this side strong, it's still perfect. So we know we need to loosen up this nerve from the messy neck, so going to put a gentle stretch through, and relax the hands down, and as we turn your head, at the moment your nose gets to about there, doesn't want to move much further. So a small gentle little push, nice and fluffy, that's beautiful. And again. Perfect. And now stop opening. Nice. Good. And fingers wide and strong. Excellent. Nice and strong, stop me pushing down. And again, I'm just really that stiffness through your yeah. back collar strong. And there's nothing there. I'm not sure this is so stiff. Now, what we're going to do is put this little push through your back here. And it's going to get your joints moving, your nerves working. And all the way out. Good. Perfect. Right hand behind your back. And strong, stop me pressing. Good. And that's how it should be. <laughs> yeah. All over. Small push. Oh, excellent. And again, small push. Shoulders drop. Oh. Beautiful. Excellent. And on your back for me. Good. And again, turns you right up. Stop me pulling down. And you should get the full strength through there. Lovely. Great. So those are the adjustments that's going to get your nerves working, allow your body to work properly, get you straight and restore the movement. Now we need to do some work to your muscles. 
So I just wanted to film a quick outro just to say a big thank you to Peter Townsend for letting me and Harry come and film that. I'm sorry that it just cuts out randomly like it does. Um, yeah, we ran out of memory or something on Harry's camera and my GoPro was also filming, but it was corrupted all of that footage somehow. I'm a complete amateur at this basically and I'm sorry for that. But uh, yeah, I hope it's entertaining anyway and I hope that um, you like to see these things keep coming. Um, they will be more interesting than that because my life normally is more interesting than that. And I just wanted to um, say a huge thank you for all the knowledge and things that I've learned about kind of my body. I, I didn't know that I broke my back until this summer when we x-rayed it. And that wasn't the initial reaction of obviously me finding out because I was pretty surprised when I first found out. But I do know kind of when I probably did it as well. Um, a couple of years ago filming the Adventure of Doris series in Zermatt. There was a huge cliff and... I, that was too big, silly big. And yeah, thank you Peter Townsend and thank you Harry for filming it and sorry for my terrible footage. Peace.